How many of our friends would cry right there on the spot? The songs they would dedicate to us on Power 96 so all Miami Beach could mourn us? Who would go to our funerals? Boys who'd broken our hearts? Boys whose hearts we'd broken? She was a French woman, the first jumper. That's what people said. She didn't live in Southgate Towers, Bobby's high-rise apartment complex, where he also worked as a security guard, but her boyfriend did. According to the boyfriend's neighbors, they'd been having problems. She drank a lot, he drank a lot, they fought. That night, the neighbors told Poppy she'd been banging on the door for a while, calling the boyfriend's name. My father was in the security booth outside the lobby when he started getting calls from some of the Southgate residents. They thought they'd heard a crash, something falling from the sky, the AC unit on the roof maybe, or maybe someone had flung something heavy off their balcony. Nobody had expected it to be a person, least of all, my father. Our planning started way before the French woman jumped. During a four-month stint living with my mother in Normandy Isle, across the street from Normandy Park. One day after school, Boogie and I were on the swings, rocking back and forth, digging our sneakers into the dirt and kicking off. We talked about how we do it. Imagined we could make it look like a tragic accident. We'd get hit by a metro bus while crossing the street, which would be easy since nobody expected a girl to just step in front of a bus in the middle of the afternoon.